Okay, Mark, um, something pretty simple I'd, uh, I would encourage you to keep working on. As you start to go back with your hands, I think we just have to continue to work on loading late because I'll show you here, see how we're starting to go back a little bit early. As your foot is starting to hit, we can see about right here, we're starting to come forward with the bat to the point where we're down, right? So again, I would encourage you to load late and really work on getting in this slot here. We're talking a fist away from our back shoulder because right as your foot's starting to come down, hold on, hold on. Now, we can see from here, see how we're starting to come forward? And now we're down. So our first motion forward is with our arms. And what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna continue to have our arms come first and look at all the space that we've created in here, right? We wanna see as we're coming through that top hand a fist away from our back shoulder, but because we should be going back and be in that position right there where our stride foot hits. So yeah, we're roughly a fist away from our back shoulder with our top hand there. That's where I would like to see you end up, right there, when our stride foot hits. But as we are coming down, so about right starting here, we can see how we're just starting to come forward with our hands. So now we've created this big space in here. And as our arms come first, we can see how our arms are well ahead of our hip turn. Our end result is a direction which is around. And as we watch from impact here, line arrow on your chin to extension. See how we're coming up a little bit. So we're not getting very much length through the ball and we're going to be a little bit long to the ball this way and it's just a little bit weaker because we can't use our lower half to generate that force. So again, I would encourage you to load late with your hands, right? And when we pause on film, we want to be about right there as far as having about a fist away from our top hand to our back shoulder so that we're not seeing this action here where we're starting to come forward with our hands before our foot's down. See, our foot's still coming down and we're coming forward with our hands so that we are creating, again, I'm looking at the gap in here. We're creating this gap. See how I got bigger? See how the gap gets bigger because we come arms first. Now we pull back in, but you can see our hands are, are really in far of our hip turn. And you can see, if, as you just watch your hip level here, you can really see how it's an upward action. See how we're coming up up and we just give ourselves very little chance to intersect the ball. Um, now this next one, this is a high pitch, it's not a, really a strike so I'm not going to break that down. But this next one here, just to show you the, that we're continuing to work on the same thing. Now I like this, we went back in better sync there, that's pretty good. right? But I think that you could still even go later because you can see as your foot's coming down, see right there? See how right as your foot's hitting we're just starting to move forward first with our top half. Now it's not as uh, prevalent as in that last one. We haven't created as much space in here as before, but we can still see that our movement is forward as we go right as our foot's coming down. We're just starting to move forward a little bit with our top half first. Our hands get a little bit ahead. And again, as you watch your hips, we can see how it's just coming up up a little bit to the ball and how our length is very short through, right? We can't get a lot of length through the ball because we've gotten that arms first. And then, yeah, here we go. I wanted to show you this. So as we're coming down here, we can really see it on this one, right? Starting here, see how the bat's starting to come forward, 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 forward as we're coming down. So we're just getting arms first. And again, if we got to about there, Right? See how we've got about a fist away from our top hand to our back shoulder. We just keep getting further apart as we get our arms first. And you can see how as your foot's coming down, your arms are just starting your swing and our hands are in front of our rotation, right? Um, we're going to get a lot more velocity on if we can, if I just roll my finger, you can see how your arms get ahead of your turn. Arms get ahead of your turn, right? And you still manage to pull in tight here, right? So you get back in tight, 
right? But it's mostly an arm swing, and the end result is our direction is around. And you can even see from impact to extension how you came up slightly, even on a lower pitch. From here to here, you can see how you're still coming up slightly. But as I just roll my finger here, you can see that we're really not generating a lot of lower body as I just kind of roll that back and forth. You can see how we just get our arms in front of our swing. And that's, you pull back in tight, but as we're starting from around there, our end result is we can't get that good length through and from impact to extension, we're a little bit around.